Oh boy, what a wonderful, marvelous day this has been. Good evening, YouTube. I don't know how it could be a better evening and a better day. It's just absolutely marvelous. I mean, I'm just so full of energy and joy and happiness. It's just flooding me. And even though I know that Infinite Mind is here for the purpose of giving me joy and happiness in every second and just supplying me with everything good and great and wonderful and uh, Infinite Mind is... Uh, has all of this joy and happiness and health and healing and everything uh, included in it. And uh, all we have to do is become aware of it to get it. Even though I know these things, I still just keep getting more, surprised more and more by uh, every day uh, getting better and better. And uh, every day uh, uh, the new uh, idea is coming. And every day my energy just uh, bubbling over. I, I, I just could get surprised about it, even though I know Infinite Mind has more joy than I can ever it could ever hold or receive in a trillion years. I, I still just get uh, overwhelmingly surprised by it. But uh, that is the thing that we need to consider precious. We need to consider precious those moments of realization. Uh, uh, some people call them aha moments when we re when we receive uh, uh, a new uh, a new inspiration and a uh, and a new uh, idea of how big uh, the God is and how big Infinite Mind is and what all He can do for us and. Uh, he just, it's just absolutely a, a, a wonderful thing, and it's just been such a marvelous day, and as you can see in the uh, the video that I uh, made right before I made this one, the one I made it at 8.40 this evening, uh, the, uh, where I uh, videoed the sunset, it was just an absolutely perfect sunset, and that's the way it's been all day, all day long. It came up, the sun came up that way this morning, over uh, in, the, in the east, of course, and and uh, was just uh, the horizon was just totally clear, and the sun just immediately come up early this morning, uh, nice, crisp, and a uh, uh, real light breeze, and just wonderful. And then when it went down the same way as you see in the video, there just nice, clear horizon, uh, uh, and uh, it just just marvelous like that. You know, it just makes you feel so good. And it was, and it was like uh, seventy degrees when I was doing that video uh, of, at eight forty of that. Uh, uh, and it's still like, I mean, it's like, uh, 1040 now, and, uh, it's still, uh, like nearly 70 out there now, you know, or like 65, uh, and so it's just been a marvelous time, and, um, that's, uh, all, all that perfection just reminds us of how perfect we actually are. A lot of people will say, well, am I perfect, you know, and when you say they're perfect, they'll say, well, no, uh, no, nobody's perfect, and, uh, but uh, that's not what uh, we're told by Infinite Mind. We're told to be looking for perfection because Infinite Mind is perfect. And we're supposed to be uh, reflecting everything that Infinite Mind is. And we're supposed to be moving towards it. Uh, 1, John 1, 1 John 3 and 1 says, For now we are the sons of God. And uh, now the kingdom of God is within us. And now, as always now, uh, the eternal now uh, is... Uh, what we're living in, and uh, uh, Tole, uh, the author Tole, and uh, and several other authors uh, ha have said the same thing about the. There's, there was a book written uh, many years ago called The Eternal Now. Uh, it was a very famous theologian. I can't quite recall his name. Uh, it was in a library that I had years ago. But uh, the Eternal Now is now, and. Uh, in uh, First John, as I say, First John three of one. Now are we the sons of God? And uh, in First John three and two, it says, uh, "We will we are being changed into the image of Jesus Christ from glory to glory." And what that means, what Jesus Christ represents, is the image of as the as perfectness, absolute perfectness, the image of uh, perfectibility, uh, per perfectness. We're being changed into perfection from it glory to glory. And uh, now back during the, uh, back a few years ago before people uh, know it all like they do now, uh, you used to have a lot of, uh, when you'd have meetings and all, uh, and uh, where people would come and, and hear either a famous uh, speaker or a preacher or they'd have a, a camp meeting or, or they'd have a tent meeting or something like that, uh, people uh, would uh, hear something that's being said by by the uh, by the speaker, 
and all of a sudden they would shout out a loud shout. You know, they might say, say hallelujah or uh, that's great or amen or just just shout out, just whoopy, you know, just whoop it up shouting. Because, and that represented a, a new real, realization, uh, that a truth that hit, that really come come clear. And all of a sudden, it come clear how wonderful it is. And so, in that moment, that a little bit of change is taking place. And so, you could say, "Well, yeah," you could hear those different shouts are happening, and you could realize that changes was being taken in people's lives. And and when we consider those types of moments, those aha moments like that, precious. It changes. Uh, we are able to be changed uh, into the image of perfectibility, uh, but it's a fact that you cannot be moving toward anything that you don't believe is possible. You can't be moving toward. Uh, uh, you can't be uh, allowing yourself to be changed into something that you're unaware exists. And so we have to become aware. Uh, that uh, infinite mind intends us, uh, or actually infinite mind has created us and made us in the image of God, which is which is perfectibility, which is perfection. We were actually made perfect, and uh, and actually in reality are perfect. Well, what we're going by is our friends, of course, don't feel like they see all of our uh, human flaws, uh, uh, but that represents their awareness level. Their awareness, le- is the reason why they see imperfections is their awareness level is, is too low. And we'll say about ourselves, and I can readily say about myself, I mean, there's a lot of imperfections in uh, in me. You know, I, uh, the way I speak and uh, enunciation, uh, pronunciation, uh, my uh, looks, <laughs> and everything. You know, there's so many imperfections when it comes to uh, looking for things like that. But... Uh, that is only uh, a, my level of awareness at certain times where I'm uh, only aware of uh, the outward appearance. And I'm not aware of what I really am inside, the real person inside. You know, it's the outward appearance is not, uh, not the, real, the real person inside. There's a real person living inside, which is one with infinite mind. And so how can we say that we're not perfect when we're one with infinite mind. And how can we move towards that and actually bring in that more and more, even into the outward appearance, if we don't believe that exists in the inward appearance? And so we have to come to realize that uh, that we are uh, perfectible and uh, that uh, we actually are already perfect. And we have to begin to declare it because it's what you declare and what you say I am, that's what you're going to become. Just like saying, I am a powerful creator, or like saying, I am a powerful human being, or uh, I am a great and good, and I am healthy, and I am strong, and I have energy. Uh, and we, we should say all of these things. We should always uh, declare, I am strong. The Bible says, well, the weak, let the weak say, I am strong. It says, uh, always think on these things, joy and peace and happiness and goodness and everything wonderful. That's the things that you should think on. And it says, put away all those other things that uh, that are negative. Put away the negative. The pure in hearts will see God. Uh, uh, Matthew 5 and 8. Uh, those that have put away the negativity and put away everything unlike God, unlike total good. That God means good. God, uh, uh, the definition of God is infinite good, infinite love, and infinite good. So put away everything that's not infinite good and infinite love. And uh, think only on the infinite good and infinite love and infinite health. And then, the, then it, when you're pure in that, you purified yourself into that, then uh, you will see good and you will see health and all of these things. And then you are perfectible, uh, perfectible when you uh, realize these things and become aware of these things. But we have to become aware that it happens from the inside out. The outward appearance is not perfect by, by, by any means as far as uh, human standards go. But the but from the inward out, we're we're moving perfection from our inside that is perfect into the outward and becoming a little more. We're able to become a little bit more perfect in every sense when we begin to become aware of it and begin to declare it and begin to say, "I am that." And so, uh, we're one in the very real sense. Then, when you say, "Am I perfect?" you should say, "Yes, I am." And you should realize that you are because you're destined to become perfect. And uh, we're only, I mean, this is, uh, 
only a few short years, like uh, living a century, like a hundred years, uh, compared to trillions and trillions of years uh, in the past and trillions and trillions of years in the future. Uh, that's just a short, very short period of time. And all those other trillions of, of years uh, uh, of perfection, total perfection, and then you uh, are in a human form where you have outward appearances of imperfections, but only for that short period of time. And so, but the real person living with inside uh, is really living in that eternity uh, and really uh, exist with God from eternal past to eternal, eternal future in per per total perfectibility. And so uh, we, we, uh, we come into this human form and our awareness at first is very low and we don't realize where we come from and where we're going. We don't realize how, how per perfect we are. And so our awareness affects everything, it affects our health, it affects our appearance, it affects our, everything that, that we do. Our level of awareness affects it. And so until we, be until we get to the point where we can actually say uh, that we know that we actually are, are perfect, we'll never be able to remove, move towards perfection. When we uh, until we get to the uh, point where we can say we know that uh, that we are we're actually total love and total health and total peace and happiness and we're actually ourselves now total abundance and totally live in abundance we can't be moving towards that we can only move towards what we are aware of and so it's a mistake to say nobody's perfect or it's a mistake to say I am not perfect we are uh, we are definitely perfect. And uh, so we should consider those moments uh, that we realize these truths like this as, as very precious. And we should say, aha, that's a wonderful, that's a wonderful thought. I'm going to shout about that a while. I'm going to raise my awareness a while. And I'm going to begin to live in that a while. And I'm going to let that change me. And uh, we begin to make, have these realizations and letting them change us. We'll begin to get better and better and better and healthier and healthier and stronger and have more and more energy. Uh, we're going to gradually bring the, the real into our into our uh, perfection into our as we realize uh, as we gradually realize com the completeness and the perfection which we already are and the abundance that we already are. We're going to gradually bring that perfection and that full abundance and that full prosperity and that full uh, energy into uh, existence uh, as we. Uh, realize that perfect energy already exists and that down periods actually do not exist in infinite mind and uh, it were not was not intended by infinite mind to exist in us and then the down periods become less and less and less and, and less and less frequent and the periods of illness become less and less and less frequent and uh the periods of depression become less and less frequent because we're declaring more and more that we're superior to those things and we're realizing that as a perfect person a perfect uh, uh, a perfect uh, image of Jesus Christ a perfect image of God as a perfect uh, creature uh, that we are above those things and so then we begin to bring those things more and more into our existence but we have to be we have to understand and realize uh, what we're destined to in order that we can get the vision of what we're moving towards and begin to uh, bring ourselves towards it and begin to work it out from the inside out. Uh, so uh, what are we on the inside then? We're a total perfect, uh, a, a, a total perfect divine person which is uh, re related directly to infinite mind and a part of infinite mind and we reflect infinite mind and we're in the image of infinite mind and that what infinite mind is uh, uh, is uh, we are inheriting all of that and we're related to all of that and we're directly receiving all of that and we're directly becoming all of that and that is part of us and uh, we, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're so connected with infinite mind that infinite mind in a sense is us and our mind is in a sense becomes then becomes infinite and perfect just like the uh, infinite mind that goes from eternal past to eternal future and that's what's it really intended by all the the promises that we're made and so I'll have to uh, 
ask you to uh, meditate on these this evening and see if you can't get more of your manifestations taking place and become happier and stronger and more energetic. Have a good evening.